Mr. Detective, would you care to join us? Sure. Why not? Oh, how splendid! Right on. If three's company, then four's even better. <laughs> Dead Mountaineers Hotel is a point-and-click adventure game. It is based on a book that I haven't read, and it is mostly negative on Steam. It looks uh, very comfy though, and I am not one to listen to popular opinion. It was there, on that summit, where the carabineer failed him. The rock is smooth there. He shot straight down, a tenth of a mile, with not so much as a handhold. Perhaps he screamed. If he did, no one heard. Perhaps he prayed. If he did, only God could know. At last he landed, and that we all heard. I've made a huge mistake. Let's just get this out of the way. I don't know what they were thinking when opening the game with this voice actor. I am not usually very critical when it comes to voice acting, but this is not good. Some of the other voice actors does an okay job, so they really didn't put their best foot forward. You know, every night I could swear I see someone peeping through my windows, but surely that's absurd. Perhaps it's some branches waving in the wind. The wind? Hmm, perhaps. But weather can't account for everything around here. The main actor is also voiced alright, although I'm not sure if he is meant to sound as aggressive as he sounds all the time. Broom? Who's that? If we ignore the voice acting, then the presentation is actually quite nice. The game takes place at the Mountain Hotel, and they have really managed to bring this hotel to life with the visuals. It is very charming, and add to that good ambient sound and surprisingly good background music, and I found it very comfy to walk around this place. Now the game follows Inspector Glebski, who travels to this remote hotel for his vacation. The hotel is in the middle of nowhere, and the owner seems to believe it is haunted by a ghost. You know, someone locked me in my room. In your own room? That's incredible. Do you suspect anyone? Do you have any ideas? Perhaps it's him, but ah, it does no good to speculate. Him who? Well, why would someone do this? Who knows? Maybe he just likes you. That's a better thought than the alternative. Strange things start to happen to the different guests, and strange threatening letters start to appear. I will get back to the story later, but this setting is very nice. It makes me think of some nice, comfy Agatha Christie novel, and it is an excellent setting for a mystery. It starts out very slow, and you will explore the hotel and get to know the different guests at the hotel. Mostly, you will help out that hotel with the odd shores, and there is little actual detective work. There is a positive to this, as it is kind of charming to walk around the hotel, helping out with stuff, talking with people, and playing the odd minigame. The downside to this is that the story progresses very slowly, and a lot of the things you do is pure filler. There is an especially bad example where you will need to find a special kind of whiskey to satisfy a drunk, and it becomes completely absurd. Why do you need to drink? I need it. I'm not going anywhere without some scotch in me. Okay, you get your whiskey.
Do you have the whisky? Yes. Here comes your tonic. This isn't scotch. The game do have some puzzles, none of them are too crazy, and many revolve around just having to find the correct item for the job. As the hotel is quite large, and there is no highlighting function, this is not as easy as it sounds, and you should prepare for a lot of walking in this game. Now this is one of those games where I feel like I need to go into spoilers when talking about the story, but before I do that, I can try to summarize my feelings for those of you who are interested in playing it for yourself. As a package, I didn't like this game's narrative. It has good elements to it, but it ends very abruptly and delivers very little in terms of what I expected from a mystery game. The pacing goes from being painfully slow to absurdly fast and it wastes a lot of time on complete filler, when major game plot points are painfully underdeveloped. In short, the story is a mess, and I think it is a huge missed potential. Let's move on to spoilers. In a Christie novel, the first couple of chapters are usually there to set the scene and introduce the cast before the first murder. In this game, however, it is almost the entire game. Then something happens, a guest is found dead, and it is time to investigate. But you only get to start interviewing the witnesses before the truth is revealed. It wasn't a murder after all, it was just a robot with a faulty battery. Silly me. Turns out that most of the people at the hotel are robots, and those that aren't are aliens. Hey, you are a robot as well. This has all been a wacky experiment. Wait, what? We are from another planet, Peter. Simone and Bruin are robots. The Barnstoker that you see before you is just a spacesuit, albeit a permanent one. The atmosphere to this planet can be lethal. I did not realize that the story would take this turn. Now after the fact, I do realize that there is a bloody flying saucer on the Steam store page, but I didn't make that connection. I have a lot to say about this ending, but before we go into that, let us all agree on that this ending was obviously rushed. To prove this, let us look at Exhibit A, an alternative ending where the game ends if you give a character a suitcase. Are you looking for a suitcase? Yes, I, th I have it. Good. Give it to me. Take this. Well, what's done is done. You out there, if anyone is listening, maybe you can tell me where my duty lies. What comes first? Am I a police officer? A human? An ambassador of peace? Where does anyone's duty really lie, in the end? You know, you know, I do believe I shall wait forever for them to return. Not that they haven't left their mark. I now and forever see there is more to the human conscious than the law of man. Still, I continue to believe that someday we shall meet again. Someday. Quite soon. This ending is even more abrupt and ridiculous, as you don't even get the info dump. The point is, that there is no way that this was how the developers wanted it. The endings are obviously unfinished. I am not saying that they didn't plan to end it this way, as the aliens are in the book as well, but what I am saying is that there should have been some kind of build-up before the twist. Perhaps I am wrong, and this is how they wanted it to end, and in that case, I assume that the developers are either aliens or robots themselves, because no human could think that this twist was handled in a good way. You can't take a story to strange places, 
but you need to do it correctly and build it up properly. You can't just throw a one minute info dump at the player, say later alligator and close the story with a weak ass cutscene. It is lazy and no amount of shock value will hide the fact that you didn't bother to finish the story. If this ending carried some meaning in the book, then it didn't survive the translation into a video game and to me it soured the whole experience. I am also left with so many open questions that I start to wonder if the story is just a collection of random nonsense that sounds cool on paper. If we take a step back and look at the game as a whole, then it is a mystery game that doesn't deliver on its mystery. A slow build-up can be nice, but it needs to build up to something. It is a shame, because there are good elements to this game, but it is just not something I can recommend as a package. Good grief, I, I need a drink. You don't have any more of that scotch on you, do you, Lieutenant? 